Hey gamers, oops. How's that? Hey gamers. Hey. <laughs> uh. Hey. hey gamers. Boy, that's still really loud. Hey. <laughs> um. Uh, what can we do about that? Hey. Boy, that's still really loud. Hey. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> okay, there. Um. So if I. Where's the problem? Okay, how's that? Hello? Um. Okay, how's that? Hello? Hello? Gamers? Hello? Hello, gamers. Uh, what the fuck is this game called? Cause it's not way food bartending. Oh, Valhalla. That's right. Hello? Oh, look at that. I can put this over here, and then I can see if I get messages. That's pretty sick. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, good lord, that's so loud. Oh, spoilers. Um... Hey, gamers. Uh, let me message Lexi. Let's see, if you do this, is that how you get to click my, my stream? about that. Oh, the dashboard. That's the problem. Yeah, okay, so that's how you get to my, to my stream. Uh... How does it say? It seems like it's too loud because it's doing that. <laughs> Maybe it's fine though. Oh, I don't know what any of that means. Maybe it's fine though. Oh, I don't know what any of that means. Um. How about? If it's like right there, huh? How about if it's like right there? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Alright, don't worry gamers, uh, my friend's gonna, gonna, gonna join the stream, tell me, uh, if the audio is good, if the audio is bad, or whatever. It's 
just give them a give them a minute. And uh we'll, we'll see. I'm just gonna keep uh keep keep chatting away. So that uh you can hear me and the, the game music should be playing too. I can't really tell how loud anything is, like comparatively, comparatively, com com comparatively. I don't know, gamers. I, I don't. Is the audio is the audio good? I I got an extra viewer. Maybe that's. That's my friend here to help me. Uh, so you should be able to hear like me and the, the game music that should both be happening, like now ish. For my excellent waifu bartending stream. Here, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna open Twitter on my phone. It won't load for me. <laughs> Uh, we should be live, right? I feel like it's live. Well, dang. I guess nobody's getting a waifu bartending stream today. That's okay, my throat's a little sore anyway. Wait, I got a message. It sounds pretty okay. Ah, look at that! Um, is, am I too loud? Is the is the game too loud? Is my audio clipping? Because it sounded like it was. How's how's that? Ooh, advanced uh, advanced strats. I don't know why this thing sucks so fucking bad. It sounds great now. It's a slight embellishment uh, of what was actually said. <laughs> Turn down the game sounds a tiny bit. Done and done. That's my door. That's uh, put that down there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But it's not necessary. Alright, 10 minutes of uh, staring at this screen, but now... Now, 
we can get started. Oops. Um. Um, so, I'm gonna, uh, how do I, what do I, how do I do this? This goddamn cat. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, by lamb went live. What, what is this? What is go live notification? Whether it's a meme. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing any of that. Category. What is it? Yeah, okay, so that's games. Valhalla Kids. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Dang, there's cool shit in the tags. Twitch might be a good website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, did everyone get my tweet? Did that go out to everyone? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, minimize that. Alright, here we fucking go. Is this spoilers? Yes. Okay. Now, last time you may remember, we were doing some shenanigans. I don't actually remember where we were, what was going on. Oh shit, a spooky ghost. <laughs> Tune into that to have more, more, uh, reads content for my, for my YouTube episodes about this. Alright, 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 here we go. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Alright, what are we what is what are we playing? We're missing a song. What are we doing? Oh, I see. Uh here, put put in the comments below if you want which for whatever songs you want. And I'll I'll check between levels. But, uh, this will be fine for now, yeah? Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Oh wait, this isn't like a robot, it's like a person. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I usually forget I have it on. No. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist, say P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see. I am in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet, as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Uh, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so, since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Uh, sorry, did you get that? Sweet drink. Preferably a cold one that's not too big, yeah? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something small, sweet, and icy. 
I wonder if I have something so specific. Uh, let's start with sweet and see what we got. There's no, uh, no ice in this. Sparkle star. Nope. Nope. Wait, on the rocks. That's what. That means. Uh, that means there's ice in it. Yeah. This is on the rocks. What is it? Is it small? Probably. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember how to play this game. Okay, that's the only thing that fits. Let's do it. Six idle hide. Uh, one powdered delta. One flannery guide. <laughs> and two karma tree. Add some rocks. And blend it. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, she loved it. Here you are. Ah, oh, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. Uh, we don't get many white knights as clients. Oh, it's a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I'm just kidding. Uh, I can only remember one other. In fact, you said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with the huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people. But we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? So sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, protecting them from... stuff. Well, what kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter, in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time, when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was all almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I, I mishear you and you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating size from people after everything's said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. Classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. So, classy. But we know she likes... sweet. Yeah? So let's, uh... Let's do something with that. Oh wait. So this is small, sweet. That's pretty good. Uh, anything? 
because if we could get it sweetened on the rocks, that's like, dang. We know she likes all that. <laughs> no, okay. So we're gonna go with the, nope, it was the brand team. Six Edelheid, three Powder Delta, and one Carmatrine. Age it and mix it. There you go, she loved it, look at that. There you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Look at that, we made a good drink for her, and we get some extra... some extra... shit. <laughs> Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others. But she's the one I've known the longest. She's a deer. <laughs> she likes these type. She likes this kind of drink. These kinds of drinks. She likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for... Jillian. No, that's not right. Hmm. <laughs> Jillian... Ju... Julianne! Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. Do we do we got a lot of viewers? Some recommendations in the chat? No. Ah, some ice cold water to get the throat limbered up. Nobody told me there'd be so much reading in this stream. Um what do you like about it? Oh, the smell of dog urine and soap! <laughs> My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. <laughs> it makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what, uh, what made you become a white knight instead of a vet or anything else? Well, I was never a good student. So studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend, and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that. But ever since then, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. It's interesting, though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same, too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also involved with the least paper. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of White Knights, right? I guess White Knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird, under-the-table deals. 
Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a... Martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's Martini. It's Brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, it'd be nice if we could make that without any uh, alcohol. I thought that was a feature of this game. But I guess it isn't. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks! You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult though. She's more into, uh, classier places. N not that this place isn't nice, but... Don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad, I, I just need... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I'd better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, she's coming back. I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check with the ever love in hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might have not been the best thing to say. Uh, Valhalla, am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ingus' ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? I... Alright, where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists, the whole lot of you. You want to tear my clothes? Beat me unconscious? Oh, my goodness. Then brutally murder me, don't you? Goodness gracious. Okay, this doesn't need to be read. Murder, 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 murder. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get her a drink to calm her down. Or to throw at her face. Um... I want something... <laughs> uh, I want something not alcoholic. Yeah. I don't want to freak her out. Give her a sugar rush. All mixed. Oh, she hated that. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. A uh, bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. So calm down. What did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock me pay and tips. They'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits, or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. 
And the thought of going through all that is just... <sighs> Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane... Dana Zane... Dana's in there, sent you. Hmm. <laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? Hole in the street? Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Ooh, kind of a, a funky beat. What's, what's going on on Twitch? We get a lot of messages. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you want different songs, or have any notes, or think I should do something differently in my build here, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Either way, I think I'm done here. <sighs> Hold on one sec. Sorry if that was real loud. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about it? Oh my god. How? Why? How? I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink. Go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Uh. And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? N no, I... Well, I'll let you know that I'm not that unimportant, and that your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you are telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick. But I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology, on behalf of everyone here, for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah. I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up, then. She's asking for a piano man. You don't see women asking for a piano man every day. So what do you think? This is their first moral dilemma. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm giving her a piano man. Uh, five powder delta. Five flanner guide. And three Carmotrine. All on the rocks? Nope, I'm mixed. Here. Yeah, this is the one. 
My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean. To provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. <laughs> I see. The piano man has an interesting story. It's a great video game. Uh, it was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. Excuse me. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server meetings. <laughs> A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. <laughs> and would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No. Don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality, and while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple days, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> uh, sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late, and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brandini, please. Coming right up. A brandini, okay. And we're off. Damn it. Three powdered delta and one carmotrine. Age it and there we are. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another and bam. Bartend. <laughs> Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? 
The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julian arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. <laughs> I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So, I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clean to my body. Sure. Um, who is he? And why is he so dramatic? Why is he so flamboyant? Uh, sir, a ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. Why were you asking all those questions? Because, now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job- Oh. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please, thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you, and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple drinks, and left. So, she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Hmm. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling your boss is too impersonal? Hmm. Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. Oh. Anyway. You're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Jill a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Oh, we killed it, we killed it, we killed it. Look at us go. Oh shit, 500 extra bucks. Oh shit, flawless service. Oh, we killed it. Oh, gamers, we killed it. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Gotta have 800 bucks. Okay. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger Use. Danger slash you. You can now visit JC Elton's. Meow, weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. This is so cute, this little this little picture and the little It's cute. Does that say slot? <laughs> Oh my god. Jill, what the fuck? Uh, so where that said that we can avoid getting too distracted, um, the, the little hints where she says like, oh, she asked for a piano, man. She won't say that if she's distracted. Any, any advice? No, nothing. Of course not. Okay. Uh, so, so that's a priority. Because I'm an idiot. I cannot remember things from moments before. Oof! 
That's really expensive though, is the thing. Uh... Let's see... Some of these things have like actual effects. I don't know what Meet the Staff is. Uh... I'm thinking... So we want 800 bucks by the 17th. What is... It's the 12th? Or the 14th? I don't know. Is it British? Japanese? American? Who knows? Ooh, okay. Danger slash you. Dangerous opinions. Let's hear about this Miki concert! <clears throat> Okay, so let's limit all the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Why would you lie on the internet? Boyfriend. <laughs> oh wow. Fucking normies get out. That is so cute, Anon. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? I yes. So you're finally going to confess. Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. But I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Miki shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You will understand once you are there with her. Miki concerts are some magical shit. Thread closed. Oh yeah, I forgot. Meow, that page looks silly. It's amusing in its own way. Oh. Miki Concert 2, the sequel to Miki Concert. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch your signals. Hmm, you say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right. That's going to be difficult. Now you have to be direct and to the point. <laughs> I'm afraid that's... I'm afraid that's going to be the case here. Not that I'm actually in love, stop. I'm going to marry Miki. Stop being such an intention whore. We are here for Miki. Come on, Anon, don't be mean. We just want to help a fellow Miki sister. You don't have to fight because of me. It wasn't my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her. Everyone else here wants to help you. I'm a guy. Oh, now who's the attention whore? Oh, wait, there's a thing. Does anyone know of childhood romances that succeeded in real life? <laughs> you're just... Oh, meow, you're just lonely. Four. In quotes. Why is it in quotes? <laughs> That's not really four. Oh, let's talk about Alice Rabbit. If you remember the, the, uh, the, the hacker group that that one paper was writing about. What it says on the tin. So it's the news on them. Huh. Drawing a blank right now. We haven't heard of Alice in a while now. That I think of it. You think they're planning something? There's this constant rumor I hear about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Lol. We're gonna be attacked. It'll be funny to see those white knight fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. She normally leaves a funny ASCII drawing and a message. Something like, Happy Non-Birthday. Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell? Alice was the one who leaked all the internal White Knight memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try with your baits. Happy Not-Birthday? Cheeky bastard. Alright. Uh, no one told me there'd be so much reading. 
Ooh, I think Alice Rabbit, maybe. <gasps> A dog! <laughs> Don't trust this dog. Um, I believe... I can't really remember, but uh... I, I think that... Uh, when, when Donovan Dawson or whoever was in the bar, he mentioned Lana Smithy not being an actual person, but like a, an amalgamate of their writers. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe. Uh, hold on, gamers. I gotta see if this means anything in text. Okay, zero one zero one zero one zero 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 one zero zero. Uh, that's a one. Okay, one zero zero zero. When I post this on on YouTube, it'll just uh skip to the reveal or the not reveal. Who knows? This could be nothing. Zero 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 zero. zero. Okay. Zero one. Zero, hold on. Uh, Val. Hal. Binary. Did somebody do this for me? Oh, thank god. Okay. The retribution is cut. Okay, so yeah, just the retribution is cut. I don't know, why is it just stop? Maybe they got ganked. Those purple numbers. Uh, 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. It's Lana Smithy again. This is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Artificial... Nope. The Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. And with a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. It sucks so much. I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh, can't even finish this article. Sorry, everyone, but I have to puke. Ugh. I hope it's put out of sale. This shrimp is so artificial it doesn't even trigger my allergies. Local Woman, Local Hero by Lana Smithy This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. Ugh. Ugh, excuse me, sorry. A mysterious rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, the local woman was able to catch the mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Mid-air. That sounds a bit too fantastical. Maybe it was our Valkyrie friend. Uh, did I save? I don't think I saved. Whoops. Uh. Oops. 
Let's see. Well, the first thing we should do is get this hollow plant so we don't get distracted. And let's meet the staff, why not? Uh. Well, let's get some fucking assorted cartridges. Jill bought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. That didn't add a nap. <laughs> Dang. So what, what did that do for me? I don't know. Because I don't, like, see it anywhere. Oops. I was gonna load, but fucking. So guess we're, we're off to the next day. Oh, I forgot that the money doesn't, like. The little money slider doesn't go away, so it's kinda like a little scorekeeper. Geevening! <laughs> hey, everybody, Geevening. <laughs> Geevening. Hey, Jill. Blah. That's a sound you don't hear every day. But boss what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and... Well, she, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it in the... Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. I've changed her voice. I liked it more before. I don't know how, what what was it doing. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until a co client comes for it. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until a client comes for it. That's good enough. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool, and comfortable and cool, and and really, really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was- ah! Don't run, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Ch Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. Alright. Alright, let's see. Did we get any recommendations for, for what to jam out to? No, we didn't. Okay, well that's fine. After the break. That's when we'll, we'll get new recommendations. What do we have? What is this? Ooh, okay. What's, uh... What's this? Kind of a bop. What is this? I'm replacing this. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Well, that makes things easy. Let's just move shit around a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay, still no suggestions. So, let's let's fucking let's just go. Do I have much of the white knights on there? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a bob. This is good to start with. I don't know if I changed anything actually. 
uh, time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brat. Oh, wait. What was I doing? I was doing, uh... Like a... Like a newsy. Like a... Hey, Brat. Nope. <laughs> You're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. Uh, he liked beer. It's a good thing I remember that, because the last time I played was like a year ago. Yeah, the good old, uh... What is his name? Donovan Dawson? He's, uh, predictable enough. Oh, look at that. That's how you get the big bucks. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a con- There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning- What? Yesterday, I was tuning the details of an interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? I think I missed it. Oh, yep. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the department of Lilim sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilim then? Yes, once a... Yes, one of those new fancy king class... Chia models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey, you. The guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no. I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong, talking with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though. Did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor, and the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans, and everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests were... Maybe it's better to be laconic, on second thought. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Heh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, Brad. Well, I guess even without the scholarship there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kinda excited back then, because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. 
and I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canta what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong, or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. R right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <clears throat> sure. On it. You want some Mars Blast? That's a change of pace, alright? We can just serve him another beer, but he'll get mad. <laughs> so I guess we can't. One powder delta, floor four flanner guide, two carmo trine, and bun that shit. Here you go. Here. Alright, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your ass, investors can be used as a legal weapon. I don't think so. Oh good, fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? No, what did I tell you? Tell you. I don't know. What did I tell you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That, and racial slurs in German. Oh my goodness. Racial slurs in what? That's what I said too. <laughs> but let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Uh, excuse me? Your readers, if you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an area where PR is first, and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff, and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago... We had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forests and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damned namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but when somebody else hears it... Oh, yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it. But the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it. But for some fucking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, 
I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Something bitter. Okay. What do we got? Oh, suplex. That's a good one. Uh... What else? Nah, he, he's gonna like the, the suplex, yeah? These are his things. This is what he loves. Uh... Four, three flanner guide, and three carmo trine. Oh, we're making it big. You already know. Okay. On the rocks. Nice. Oh, he loved it. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid. Joel. Jean. Guillermo. Hirohito. I've, I've dropped my accent. Yeah, that kid. Joel. Jean. Guillermo. Hirohito. I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know. I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock-block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. <laughs> what the fuck is with this dude? <laughs> what if it's your dad? Dead. I stutter. <laughs> Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see? That'd mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know. I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the paper. Give him the food critics column. It's shit anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think you might have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> What's he laughing about? Shit, don't scare me like that. Oh, Valkyrie, Valhalla. I get, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm up to date. I don't think you can run out of air in, with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. But e even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust Boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey. Can you see me? Can you see me? I don't know. Ah, uh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm gonna... I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see, and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there, with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. 
I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish. But my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invinci invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too? Was such a jammer or something? Excuse me. Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotech to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost. To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you moved, you'd be an eerie, surroundings-colored blob. And we Lilim see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Ah, scary, it's a ghost. <laughs> uh, nothing important. She's so smug. What are you having? I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. So that if she was distracted, these wouldn't be here. It would just be three question marks, I think. Five of these. Five of these. Uh, two powdered delta. No. Powdered delta. Three flanner guide. And three carmotrine. Age mix. There we go. Hell yeah. One piano woman. Are we getting any advice for uh, what path to take? Oh shit! That's my friend Jay Krusky in the chat. <laughs> Here, let me hold on. Can I open Twitch on my on my phone? And then I could like twitch dot dot TV slash lullaby lamb. See it's a it's a twofer. Cause then I can I can see when my when I get messages, but I can also crank my my viewer numbers, which is arguably even more important. Open the app. Open the app. What a pain in the ass. Hold on, everybody, I gotta get the fucking Twitch app so I can chat. Uh, like I said in the chat, it's, uh... Lexi took my fucking HDMI. But usually I have this other monitor right here. Where I can chat with my pals. I can't believe Jake Krusky tuned in to watch my stream. 
That makes me so happy. Who's talking about cyanide? I don't even know. Let's see, 20 minutes ago, who were we talking to? Donovan? It had to be Donovan. Was he talking about cyanide? That's so scary. Uh, username, lullaby lamb, password, lamb2. Oh, it's not my username or password. Uh, Lamb 3. Look at that. We're, we're, we did it. That seems like it's work. So, HMU in the chat, as the, the youth say. One piano woman. But, so who's talking about cyanide? Oh, it doesn't go back so far. Okay. Okay, here we go. Can I? I don't want to, like, watch the video on here. That's killing my bandwidth. Stop. I just want to fucking chat. Fucking... We got it. We must watch the stream at all times. Oh well. Like I said, eventually I'll get that HDMI back. I'll have two monitors, I won't have to deal with all this. Uh, tell me if the bitrate suffers because of that. And uh, th there will be nothing that I can do about it. <laughs> but do tell me. Tell me and I'll say, dang, that sucks. Tell me and I will, I will sympathize. Okay. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions. Whenever I'm feeling good, or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today, I feel good. That's nice. So, was Dorothy in the, the first out? In the first day? I didn't think so. Maybe Jill just knows her. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. Yeah, sure fucking don't. <laughs> that guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. Oh, is she in the demo? I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again... They were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know... Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. Oh my goodness. I should have checked. Is this game okay on Twitch? It's not, like, lewd. But Twitch has weird rules about shit. Girl gamers better not show their fucking ankles. Uh, if I complain about that, do I get banned? I don't know how it works. I'll shut up, though. I think I'll pass. <clears throat> I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. 
Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? Did I fucking stutter? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. <laughs> she put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh yeah. Randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know? Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not uh, kinky weird? The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Oosh. <laughs> oh, whoops. <clears throat> oh, I thought I s Oh, really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11, dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year, he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming right up. Alright, six Edelhide. One powdered delta, one flanner guide, two carmotrine. Put some ice. Put some rocks. <laughs> it's the worst fucking bartender. Wait, you wanted rocks in this shit? <laughs> I got my thing all set up, but now no one's messaging me. Send me messages. Make some noise down in the comments, folks. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. Um, actually, take five. I'm gonna get a glass of water. I'll be back in two minutes, 25 seconds. Team, break.
Alright gamers, uh, sorry my, my voice is going already, I've been um, doing a lot of voice acting work lately, and I've been trying to, uh, I've been trying to project better, I've been trying to show everybody that I am classically trained, uh, but uh, <laughs> I think I've just been yelling. <laughs> So that's kind of rough on the voice. Give me a minute, I'll be back. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Maybe it was a bad time to do this. Eh, I'm having fun though. Are you having fun? Let me know in the comments below. eating and drinking sounds out of the way and here we go my mic's still on right <laughs> can you imagine how fucking embarrassing yeah oh it's so loud is it is that is the audio bad let me know in the comments below if the audio is bad <laughs> <clears throat> all right let's go let's do this I got a little longer of this in me, at least. <laughs> okay. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single, and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all... Ugh. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Oh, I'm getting... I'm getting hits. Oh shit, I was cleaning. I'm back. The audio is good. Oh, wait, I can just talk with my human, real-life voice. Thanks for tuning in at all, it means so much to me. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm waifu bartending right now. Oh, excuse me. In my videos, I just cut those out. <laughs> Yay, we're live! <laughs> Wow, I've never... Oh my god, thank you so much! Oh my god! <laughs> um, I I've never had a real chat with a real viewer. And it's my real life pal, too. Ugh, <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean leaving the burps for me, please? <laughs> Ugh. See, you think that's fucking funny, but I've, I've had so many creeps. Um, Lexi had someone that really wanted her to record her hiccups. You know why. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's, it's funny. <laughs> There's some gross folk out there, you gotta watch out. I should just be one of those, uh, like, eating YouTubers. Cause I sure do like to eat. <laughs> You can tell I ain't missing no meals. Yeah, that's what I said. I've, 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 I've had, like, sneezing folks. Never had hiccups. I mean, I've, I've had hiccups. <laughs> but don't tell the fetishists. Oh my god, thank you so much. That means the world to me. Have you, have you ever played this game? It's pretty rad. It's about, uh, bartending to waifus. Oh, thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, oh, we won't talk about it here. Maybe. In the in chat. That hardly seems secure. Remember your OPSEC. <laughs> but yeah, 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 I'd, I'd love to hang out sometime soon. It's been so long, man. It's been like a year at least. The feds are watching. <laughs> Oh, and I still haven't even met uh, your friend. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dox her, but I do remember her name. Almost uh, doxed her live to my my stream of three viewers. <laughs> Sorry everyone, just chatting with my pal, Jay Kruski. Uh, go go check out his stream. Do you have, hey, do you have anything I should plug? This is going on YouTube afterwards for, uh, for posterity. Oh, sad. Afraid of the, the illness, or is she just busy, or... There's an illness that's been going around. Sorry to date this stream. I see... Oh my god. Ironic. Alright gamers, here we go. Last we left off, we were chatting with Dorothy. And jamming out to the chatting with Dorothy theme. Uh, yes and no. Out of factory? We look like kids, because of our development. Uh. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then, you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Excuse me. Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Set upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of roleplaying I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So... If I stop looking underaged, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll go through some. I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Welcome to. Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Oh my goodness. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. 
Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Oh, this is the first ever double drink. Do you think we could handle the challenge? Uh, start with our sunshine cloud. For Edelhide. For Bronson Extract. What do y'all think? Does, uh, does What's Your Face like Parmo try? Let's just fucking max that shit out, right? Uh, put some rocks in there. And blend it. She loves it. Okay, cool. We're getting good advice from the chat. And, uh, I. I will take that as, as a fact, even though you said before that you've never played this game. Uh, what do it? Gut Punch? Five Bronson Extracts, one Planner Guide. Oh, you're not telling me this guy's not here for Karma Trine. Fucking there. Age it. Mix it. See, they loved it. I think she just drinks Karma Train by itself. Don't trust past me. <laughs> Some fucking memento shit going on. Oh shit. Spoilers for memento. Sorry everybody. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something? Uh, private? Oh, you're making faces in the chat? Were you were you halfway through Memento? Had it paused? <laughs> it's Memento night and we were just watching Memento. <laughs> I can't believe. Every, uh, fucking, what is today? Every Monday night we load up a stream and Memento and see if they sync up. <laughs> and never has it been spoiled before. I'm so sorry to ruin your viewing experience. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room, or invite me to dinner. This robot's gotta eat, what's that about? <laughs> No, thank you, it's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines in the other person after... well... <clears throat> oh goodness! After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <clears throat> yes. That's what I said too, basically. <laughs> That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way, the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kinda buggy though. I've heard stories of DF-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. Oh, gonna lurk. Okay. Wow, someone lurking on my stream. I can't believe it. Not just someone, a friend. 
Wow. It's a warm fuzzy feeling inside. For a content creator to have a friend. <laughs> How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Oops. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Jill! I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you, Jill. Oh, shit, so that confirms it. It's Jill. They're both pronounced Jill, yeah? Right? Or did he say some, like, nickname? Like, Jilly. Jilly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, did I read that line? Yes. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Don't give him any other kind of fucking blast. I'm serious. Don't fuck this up. Oops. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes if you do the the other kind, it'll it'll unlock some bonus story stuff. But what? I'm gonna fuck up their drinks because I think I know best. <laughs> Not even that, because I've misheard them. Here, bitter and mind numbing, just like war. <laughs> Have you been to war? <laughs> Life's a war, we fight every day, Jill. <laughs> so, you haven't been to a war. Not to an official one, at least. <laughs> this guy's fantastic. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But... I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for using my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if it went haywire. Oh, if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said. Hmm. You... wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. <laughs> Damn, I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off, and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. Alright. Oh, cute little little artwork here. I really love the art in this game. And the aesthetic. The music.
Uh, who knows about this story? It, it's been a while since I've I've played it, but I I I do think you're like not supposed to root for most of the people who come in. It's just supposed to be a kind of shitty world, all in all. Um, but who knows? I guess we'll see more as we as we play again. Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Oh, did we get any recommendations for music? Nope. <laughs> what does all this shit sound like? I don't even know. Ooh. Bit of a bop. Where do I go from here? Do you have March of the White Knight? No. I think I do that every time we come to this screen. I think I like Nighttime Madumes. Oh, that's our first fucking one! <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking loser and everybody knows it now. I want to change shit up. We gotta find some songs worth jamming out to. Gamers, we simply must. I think Neon District is good. Ooh. Ooh, kinda kinda funky, kinda kinda jazzy maybe. Maybe. Oh, meet the staff! There's that thing that we bought. So that's that's what that did. And y'all said throw it away. And y'all said load our save. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, fuck Dusk. Oh. Oops. Uh... Hit it. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, now we're changing shit up. Oh, but I like that one. <laughs> Do I have Out of Orbit? Yeah. Uh, oh, I like that one too. No, no, no. We need to change things up. We do. Okay, sorry for taking so long with this. We're almost done. One more page. Ooh, Glitch City. What does Resound fall like? Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's move that. Okay. Uh, what was the one I got rid of? This. Okay. And we're off. You could take a couple minutes more, you know? I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now this music's a little louder, I feel like. Can y'all still hear me? 
Let me know if you can't hear me. Well, that doesn't make sense. Whatever, someone will comment if they can't hear me. Oh, what a fucking pain in the ass it would be if I went to upload this on YouTube and I couldn't... Nobody could hear me. Fuck it, I'm sure it's fine. Hit me up in the comments if you can't hear me. <laughs> that still doesn't make sense. Okay, sorry. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. R right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, I don't remember her. Oh my god, it's getting louder. Uh... I can't do anything about that. Sorry, y'all. I don't remember her. Uh, like, she looks... she's blue. I'm gonna guess she's sad. Let's give her a sad and blue voice. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Well, now I feel even more like I should turn it down. If she's gonna be blue. Blue. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. So that should turn it down for both of us. Well, now that seems too quiet. Okay. Now, if you can't hear the music, let me know. Because now I should undeniably be louder. Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda, yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar. Nice. Nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Something like tea, or something not so bitter. Maybe girly and bitter? Oh, I fucked up. So I'm pretty sure at this point, there's supposed to be a... We were supposed to have bought a, a, a drink from the shop that we could serve here. Can you believe that? What kind of shit is that, by the way? Hey boss, I bought a new drink for your shitty restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if, it, if I, I paid for it, it's out of my paycheck. Something like tea. Or something bitter. No, yeah, the, the like tea is one of the bottled drinks. I'm such a fuck up. Sorry, everybody. Everyone was counting on me to really know what I was doing. Put some rocks in there. Hope that joke never gets a look because that's all I got. <laughs> oh, she loved it. It doesn't matter. Try this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm... Oh, I know who this is. Obvious. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm... Kira Miki. So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira M Miki. 
No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira. Miki. Almost there. Kira. Miki. Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Wow, look, everyone's in on it. She's a, she's a natural star, just like me. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira! Miki! Wow, this guy came back even. Kira! Miki! Kira, Miki, and don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilum who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert. So I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on. So I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside, and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. Uh, I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over a hundred thousand people, and sold out fast. Excuse me. So, we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on. Then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Minky, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. For the record, y'all can call me that too. I'll, I, I'll accept that. My full name is... Lullaby Lamb. But. Please. <laughs> Miss Idol is my, my mother. Call, call me Idol. Idol Chan. Oh, yeah, call me Idol Chan. That's good. Oh, I like that. Hey, um. Do you have anything soft? Soft? As in alcohol free? No. I meant soft as in soft. Soft. L let's see what I can get you. Uh, guess what? I can do all of those things and more. In fact, the, the last thing I gave her was, was that. <laughs> right? Was it Sunshine Cloud? Bitter, girly, soft. See? And no alcohol. I don't know why Jill's acting fucking brand new. Uh, but yeah, I really like the, the vibe to this game. If y'all like this game, I'll show you a, a, another bartending game in a cyberpunk feature. Uh, called Red Strings Club. Which I also really enjoyed. Oh, she fucking loved that. She gave us so much fucking money. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Huh? Yeah, you know, 
like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire. That kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Mm-hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl. Oh, for Jill, then. Well, I should have done it for Kim. Or pal Kim. For Jill. Never lose your star. From Kira Miki. Oh, uh, that's a pretty autograph. In case anybody doesn't know, Kira is a Japanese onomatopoeia for like a sparkle or a shine. As in, ne wa kira kira suru. Sorry, my pronunciation's a little shitty because I've been doing voices for hours now. I'm really glad it's Kira Mickey and uh, Jill right now, so it's easier on my voice. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier, and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. <laughs> oh no. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay. One more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they ask for your love is a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, 
I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something? Only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was coffee or the girl that served it. If it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything better? I really need to wake myself up. Uh, let's see. Something to sober up. Okay. Um... Because we could just do another sunshine cloud. But that's soft. Let's do a fucking gut punch. That'll, that'll sober her up. Wait, I haven't served her any alcohol. <laughs> what's she so- oops. Uh, what's she sobering up from? Aged and mixed. <laughs> oh, she fucking loved that. Try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? Could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice. Thanks. I hope you weren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but... How much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Miki... I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Well, why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wider range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music. And I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly, s nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure, please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no. But I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? No, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. Yeah, huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'd like it. Maybe. In any case, Jill's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, a little anime-ass teardrop up here. Your eyes down here, idiot. Oh, maybe it's a sweatshirt. <laughs> now I look like an asshole. I'll edit that part out for the video. Oh, shit. Flawless service. Grab a snack on the way home. It's on me. Oh, shit. Look how much fucking money we got. We make commission. Do bartenders make commission? 30%. Oh, Jill is humming your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting distracted. Oh, we can browse Kiramiki's blog! So, I hope you really liked her voice, because I guess we'll be hearing more of it. Meow, did that idol really show up? Or is she like the ghost? Hey. Okay, um, let's see. Well, first of all, we want to save after that flawless day. Oops. Well now, to the shop, I want to buy... No, this wasn't here before, right? It probably was. Shit, what a fuck up. Can't believe what an asshole I am. Are there any other drinks in here? Oh, let's get this for, for Jill. Beer on discount. Is that a drink? I'll take it. Um, none of the rest of this looks like drinks. So. Automatically renew- oh shit, so... So yeah, it's the 15th now. Is this after work or is this before work? I assume after. Alright, hold on gamers, I'm gonna hit up the little Lambie's room, I'll be right back. That was probably real loud and I'm sorry about that. Hey gamers, it's your gal, it's your pal, it's Liam. Alright, let's see what we got going on this week. Ah, 
Alright, so, Alice Rabbit 2. Makes a, a meme face of some sort. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Well, yeah, and I remember the cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. Oh, look at that, the purple and pink and red. That's what uh, the binary was like on that website. December 17th will come. The second retribution. Birthday is coming. That font. Oh boy. Spooky font. It's happening. Do the, the ones and shit spell anything? E. Oh, it's... They have like a troll sonar. E's in lowercase and ones instead of I's. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> time for despair. Oh shit, fuck. That feel when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people? With IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why you got so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Admin Furfur. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. This thread is closed. Alright. Miki Con- Oh, shit. Wait, what did the cat have to say about that thread? Yeah, spooky. Or a nice joke. <clears throat> In the last thread, Anon hates fun. I don't want fights. You people are so immature. What's wrong with being a guy in danger, you? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off. Dudes, in danger, you. <laughs> Okay, so, if I'm gonna be a voice actress, actor, what's more feminist? I don't know. Uh, I need to perfect my pfft. Pfft. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to, how you're supposed to <laughs> Not like that, probably. Pfft. Pfft. <laughs> Perfect, okay. I perfected it. Let's go back to the concert, please. 2070X, and you stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this. He started everything by mentioning he's a guy. Sigh. Uh, anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official Danger U meetup. Danger U meetup? Like I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Okay, next thread I'm going to moderate the fuck out of this. No more ship posting. Miki Concert 4. Oh shit, what did the cat say? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious about how such a meetup would end up. Look it up. Uh, Jill had happened before. Everyone was Guy Fox or some shit. In the last thread. No ship posting allowed. Did that one add on left? I think so. I never left, I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the Great Revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know each other since we were very young. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Y yeah. Okay, this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. K kiss Of course. Just try to imagine how magical that moment would be. With the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. I... I will think about it. Meow, how was your first kiss? I tripped into a guy. It hurt like hell. Oh, that's Naruto and Sasuke's first kiss, too. Spoilers. For the first episode of Naruto.
Oh, look at this cutie. Gloria Light and her quest for a Tino Award. In today's interview segment, we sit with Tino Award nominee Gloria Light. It's an honor to be here with you. It's my pleasure. Tell us everything. What was it? Oh. Content blocked in your region. Yeah, you look pissed. It's a local page. What happened? Oh, is this... <laughs> is this... Wait, Donovan Dawson. Donovan took credit for that guy's story? That's so sad. Kiramiki confirmed as the best pop star in history by Donovan Dawson. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier everything. And I'm baffled as to how there's still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can't. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco Overlord. Well, he did grant the guy his wish. Kinda. Neo San Francisco rocked by a powerful earthquake. Millions saved? <laughs> <laughs> by Kimberly Lavayette. Lavayette? Ah, Lavayette. A powerful 8.6 magnitude tremor struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo San Francisco for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow. Oh. They're an example to follow. And uh, we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. There's my Nixon. So when I hear the recording, I can find out how bad I am at Nixon. <laughs> it happens to me with all my, all my voices that I do. I, I go through my life like, I can fucking rock a Nixon. Or like, I can fucking rock a Roaring Twenties Newsy. And uh, <laughs> then I listen to my streams, and it turns out I'm god awful. But that's part of the fun, right? Not if you're a voice actor, I guess. That'll be a problem. Whatever, I'm never gonna play fucking Nixon. <laughs> Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. <sighs> what we couldn't do with the money he'll use for that, anyways. Oh, what a fool. Why is he doing all the earthquake prediction? Alright, Kira Mickey's blog. What I do to relax. Oh, right. What I do to relax by Mickey. It's been very hectic as of late. So I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime. You name any tasty and natural combination and I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. See, I think, uh... I do believe if you serve her, like, too much alcohol, 
she leaves before before getting her last drink and maybe before autographing the thing I don't know it changes things a little oops why do I always forget this so that's what she meant by a tea like drink dome concert oh dome concert by Miki hi everyone are you ready for the dome concert I sure am I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner and it's all thanks to you thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect I'm going to perform all your favorite songs so please be excited just one little request Please don't wait for me outside the stadium, or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like you to see you hurt, so please don't do it. By bodyguards, does she mean the fan club, or...? Thanks, GC. Oh, I love this place. Oh, Glitch City. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me, and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show. And I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Huh, so she'll actually come again? That's nice. Alright. Oi, okay, here we go. Another day at work. Hey. Hey, hey everybody. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hey, put that in the best of comp. Okay. Keevening? <laughs> what the fuck? What's this dumb bitch talking about keevening? Hold on one sec. Remember, if you're going to be using your voice a lot, uh, make sure you take good care of your throat. Which I assume means having a bunch of cheesy snacks to keep your, your vocal cords from falling apart. Stick them back together. And uh, probably some ice cold water to, to, to heal and rejuvenate. To moisturize. At least that's what I have going on here in my, my little setup. <clears throat> oh, hi there. Oh, it's Elma. Oh, there she's some shitty nerd. Oh, I was expecting the- Oh, Jesus Christ. My throat. <laughs> nope, so that's not gonna happen. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, uh, Leonidas. G Gillian. Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. 
Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's Boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Alright, thanks. Oh, did everyone like the... Alright, I'm looking at the, the, the suggestions for... Uh, for songs to do. And there's still not any. Nobody suggested anything. Yo, get on the ball. I'm doing amazing. Y'all are fucking up. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. Kinda stuck. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. What the fuck? My nose isn't working anymore. Okay. That habit didn't run off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kinda like that. Wait, what did they open to? Oh, I see. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. J-J-J- Oh, I can't read. <laughs> I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Miki girl came here yesterday before a concert, actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like Blink more, actually. <laughs> B-Link? I don't know. The stoic-looking duo, right? Ah, uh, the stoic. <laughs> you know, brings babies, the stoic. That's not any accent in the world. <laughs> There's no accent that does that, I don't think. But I sure made it do that. I made it work. That's how you know a good actor. Or actress, or whatever. Yup. Those. I <laughs> Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. But let me know if you, like, can't understand Alma at all. And I'll try to do, like, the original voice I was gonna do for it. Maybe I can do it. Hold on. Speaking of buying... Speak... <laughs> speak... Speaking of... How do nerds talk? Come on gamers, get out your Rockstar energy drinks, it's time to fucking game! Speaking of buying, do you... Do you want a frame? This'll work, yeah? Yeah, that'll work. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? It's, uh, it's just Weevil Underwood. This character is Weevil Underwood. A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have on your boss. Someone's filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You... 
Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <sighs> sure. I don't know what's a <laughs> bad touch. <laughs> oh no, it's a <laughs> bad touch. <laughs> okay. Um. Two Bronsons. Two Powder Delta. Two Flanner Guide. And four Carmo Trine. Put some rocks in there. <laughs> Never gets old. It's the one joke that never, ever gets old. Here, who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Well, that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. Then what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. L-A-R-P? Live action roleplay. Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy-handed writer. Or military organization. What did he roleplay as? Have you ever heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open. Oh my goodness. Do they do that there? <laughs> Those are hippies, yeah. Oh, I assumed we were talking about rent fest for some reason. <laughs> I was like, nobody's fucking at a rent fest. <laughs> you frequent slow zones. It's something I'd rather not deal with. At all. See, I don't want my voice to drift too far into a Peridot. Cause Peridot's valid as hell. I don't know, I'm sure Alma's valid too. I just don't like nerds. <laughs> if I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, uh, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Think about it, have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? <clears throat> okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. And it's gross that you do that. <laughs> A year ago. It was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. F fuckboy He's already in a closet. Oh, that's- that's- that's low. That's low, uh... Low- low bar? Low brow? That was low. I can do better. For that obvious queer Gillian. As a gay, I use queer as a very, uh... The, the best of ways. I love Gillian, in case you can't tell. Uh, people have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs? Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Dozing off, knowing they're here, watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I could make you to? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my Uncle John. Oops. <laughs> Eyes going a little faster than my brain. I'll have you know that my Uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking, or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, give me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different, experimental, uncommon. 
Let's see. Promo drinks. Good thing we got that Mulan tea. That fucking beer we spent $900 on wasn't a goddamn real drink. This sucks. Is this a- does this count as a promo? I don't know what promo is. No, these are promo drinks. Uh, Zen Star? Okay. Four of each ingredient. Even Flanner Guide. On the rocks and mixed. She hated that. Okay. Here. Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read. They leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. Uh. You know, your orders are weird today. They are. Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a brandini. And then something like a Cobra Velvet or something similar. Uh... So... Anybody that's like... Playing this game... You can uh... You can New Game Plus this shit. And then you know... That these are the things she wants. And you can, you can do those to unlock... Just different conversation trees. Cause you wouldn't... You wouldn't assume that, uh, this was, like, a feature. But this game does have, like, multiple endings. In fact, what do y'all think? We didn't get shit for money for those drinks. Let's load our save and make Brantini Cobalt Velvet. And see if that does us any better. Yeah? Don't worry, we won't have to read through the, the, uh... All that bullshit again. What is there like... Oh no, I remember. That one just sort of glitches out. Okay. Go to work. Brantini, Cobalt Velvet. Okay. Is there a skip feature? Yeah, cool. These are fine. Fuck that, we're making you a Brantini. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna look like a fucking asshole. Oof, she hated that. This is a phrase I'd hope to never use in my life, but... This isn't a bad touch, Jill. You didn't give me a bad touch. You failed at giving me a bad touch. <laughs> so... <clears throat> so, who's Damien again? Oh, before I load, I do want to find something else out. Or I could make her the thing, the other one, and see if that works. Maybe. Let's try. Five Carmo Trine. So I was wrong, and I do look like an asshole. No, this looks pretty common to me. No tip for this one. <clears throat> okay, well... Now everyone thinks I'm a dumb asshole. <laughs> I don't, why does this always light up? Did I save after buying stuff? Okay. Okay. To work. Sorry. Sorry for that little detour. I swear there's times where like your choice of drink that you make for people changes what happens. Cause there's, like I was saying, there's multiple, like, endings and shit. And there's never, like, choices, I don't think. It's all... Uh... Just based on how well you know people and... 
uh, how well you get them, what they would want, or not even what they want, just what, uh, whatever. <laughs> We're doing Piano Man this time, because, uh, it's more expensive and we make commissions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That was a good idea. Uh, but yeah, like, like uh, Mr. Donovan came in uh, yesterday, and he said, you know what I want. And we did, it was a big beer, and he gave us a million dollars. And I doubt, uh, like, I doubt with Mr. Donovan there was any more that we could have, like, discussed. I doubt we'd have missed out on anything by not giving him what he wanted. But some of these folks are, like, Jill's pals. And they want to feel loved and paid attention to. Or just the drinks remind them of things. I don't know. You'll see more as, as we go on. It's a good game. It, it has nice vibes. Feels like being a bartender in a cozy little little dive. Yeah, this fits the bill. They said all this before. Oops. Orders are weird. Yep. Fucking liar. <laughs> well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know. Something tells me part of the reason he left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of someone who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they've prepared just for occasions like this. It's always very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago there was this group of people that hacked. Simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. Same. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching everything from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet that press made up. If the antithesis of your usual... Oh, the antithesis of your usual boogeyman if you must. So you don't think such a bet such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddled overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damn Alice Rabbit thing. I see. <sighs> but enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... This random might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, bring our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know you need some human warmth in that place. Oh my goodness, your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly, it's no fun. React a little bit, let me tease you for a second. I refuse. 
In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I'm asking you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big Brantini. Finally. That's the all I know. Six aldehyde. Oh, we're gonna make that twelve fucking aldehyde. Six powdered delta. Two caramel trine. Age that shit. Here. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. You know, I was wondering... What, what's BTC? Bartender Club. <laughs> I don't know. Bartender something something. You know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's beyond the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your client, or...? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons. But the few times I've shown myself, sigh. <laughs> They weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. Uh, oh, excuse me. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they expect to see. And I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have me wonder about the hacking business, too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time, then. I'll take my leave now. See ya. Take care. Hello, sugar. Ow. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Donovan. Oh, fuck. If there was someone to put the final nail in the coffin for my voice today it was Mr. Donovan um let's say we get to the next break here and I'm probably gonna call off the stream for today oh goodness it's been three hours yeah it, it'll be good to to stop 
But thanks everybody for tuning in. It's been a blast. Sorry, it's not over yet. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hot as fuck and that's all my abdomen felt. Oh. Oh. He was being a creep to our boss. What a piece of shit. At least he got beat up. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't you worry. You're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. A bit of advice. You shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today, I'm making this a quick one. Gotta tend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. See, look, here we go. A chance to, uh... To, to make a, a moral dilemma. Uh... So, we're gonna want a large beer. Two powdered delta, four flanner guide, and eight camo trine. Carmo trine. Ah, oh, shit, big money. The usual. Sure, this'll work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? Excuse me. That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks, so I was working to cinch... to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Shit, what have I been calling him? <laughs> so Donovan is not his last name. Okay. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you'd find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm? Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Ah, uh, oh yeah. That big titted Lilum was here? Oh my goodness. Can't talk about people that way. She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her, or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey, kid, do you think Lilim have nipples? Excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilim chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. Oh, Mr. Donovan. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on a Lilim look good? A bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough. Man, God bless those sons of bitches. <clears throat> Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece. 
and even better, makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent a message to some outlet saying they have proof of their claims. Oops. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, kid. Give me a Bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. He wants a Bleeding Jane. That's a change of pace. We'll make it big, yeah? For a pal, Mr. Mr. Donovan. Uh, blended. Oh, it's not even alcoholic. Yeah, he likes big drinks. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So, I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? Oh, she's always up to something. She's out running some air... Bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money, faced ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know she lost her arm there? Can't remember, too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then, too. I heard someone... I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. But that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. <clears throat> well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank Christ. My fucking throat is gonna fall off, and then I'm gonna be dead. Um. No, oh, it's now safe to keep playing. Nope. <laughs> um. So yeah, thanks a lot, everyone, for tuning in. It's been a blast. <clears throat> I hope it was as blast for you as it was for me. What's my sign out? Uh, keep on grazing, everybody. Oh, that's perfect. That's what it needed. Sorry, I knew it was, like, jarring and sudden. Keep on grazing, and then it ends? What the fuck? What does that mean? Keep on grazing, everybody. That's beautiful. I love that. Okay, that's my new sign-off. So get fucking used to it. Uh, yeah.